Giant plumes of dust blow off the Sahara Desert. They're easily visible from space. Atmospheric dust, African dust, is one of the most prominent atmospheric features, a second only to clouds. Joseph Prospero at the University of Miami has studied African dust for decades. In the 1970s, he found that a considerable amount can blow all the way across the Atlantic Ocean. He spoke to VOA by Skype. We knew there was a lot of dust. I mean, you, it's obvious there's a lot of dust. When, you, when it rains in, Bar- in Barbados or even here in Miami during the summer months, you actually get a layer of mud in the bottom of the bucket. African dust storms can negatively affect air quality across the ocean. But new research reveals they can also do some good. In a study published in Geophysical Research Letters, scientists tracked Saharan dust by satellite as it blew across the Atlantic. They found that an average of 28 million metric tons falls in South America's Amazon River Basin each year, says University of Maryland atmospheric scientist Hongbin Yu. Yeah, it's surprising because of a huge amount of dust and phosphorus. Phosphorus is a key nutrient that plants need to grow. Yu found that Saharan dust delivers about 22,000 metric tons of it to the rainforest each year. That's an important source of fertilizer, he says. The soil has a limited phosphorus, and it also can be washed out by rain and uh, flooding. In fact, the phosphorus falling from the sky is about the same amount as rivers carry out each year. The lush rainforest and the desert dust join together on one small planet. Steve Barragona, VOA News, Washington.